so yeah, um, let's stop dilly dallying, let's stop uh, blabbering, and let's start playing Super Mario All Stars. Let me just get my. Usually I use my Pro Controller, but we're playing a 2D game, so I'm going to use my SN30 Pro Plus for this one. And yes, I've got a Super Nintendo and a Super Famicom like application because I've got like a Japanese account. But yeah, All Stars dropped on the, the Famicom application as well. Yep, here it is, Super Mario 35th Anniversary. I haven't done anything on the SNES app in the world, so there's like a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, there's Donkey Kong. Right, okay then. So tonight's stream might be a bit of a shorter one, depending, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to play, like, maybe two of the games on this collection. It's like four games. You're probably wondering why is Super Mario World not here? It's because Super Mario World's already on Switch Online, so... I guess in that case, I can see why they didn't include it this time around. Let me turn the volume up just a smidge. Uh, before we get started, let me just quickly check something and then we'll get started for real. One moment. Right, okay, sorry, I was just checking something in the background there. Don't mind me. So yeah, let's do, I'm going to do Super Mario Brothers and then I guess I'll do Super Mario Brothers 2. I'm not going to play these online with anyone because I played, I think I played the original Mario, the original Mario 2 and the original Mario 3 on the Switch Online thing with people before. So these are just going to be like playthroughs with me doing quote unquote commentary. What, what little commentary I can offer, like insightful commentary. You know, it's kind of appropriate that I've got an SN30 Pro controller because it looks like a SNES controller, so it kind of works out. Did you miss much? No, I just started. I spent the last five minutes just recapping what the 35th anniversary thing was. So yeah, I grew up with the original Mario, like the NES one, but like several years later I got a SNES and I got All Stars with it. It was like... It was the... See, I didn't get a SNES at launch, I got a SNES like a couple years later, but it was like the SKU that came with like Mario All Stars. And I played a lot of this as well growing up, so... I've got a lot of nostalgia, not only for the original Super Mario Brothers, but also the All Stars version. As well as all the other games on this collection. I know opinion can be a little bit weird, like some people say that this collection of like games is not not that great for some reason, like so I don't know, some people are weird about their opinions on this. I mean, considering the value prospect, I would say All Stars is like a really good game, or a really good collection of games. I'm not gonna go for the warp zone, I'm gonna do a full playthrough, like all the way through all the worlds. Isn't there a coin block here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I didn't realise that coin block was there when I was younger, but I eventually found out, oh, there's a coin block hiding in that one spot. One thing about the audio, like, I like the upgraded audio in general with the new sound font for the SNES, but one thing about the audio that bugs me a little bit when you're underground is the echo. Like, I get I get it, it's, that's the idea because you're underground, but the sound effects echoing with that weird, what, what do you call it, rev, reverb, reverberations or whatever, I don't know, I, I can't think of the words, but there's a lot of reverb. Also, why did I do that? Whoops, I, I literally said I wasn't going to skip levels, and I just literally did that. Old habits die hard. Uh, can I reverse? Wait a minute. Shit. Sorry, that was me, my brain going on autopilot there while fucking talking out of my arse. I'm going to undo that. Uh, 
again, this is going to be me playing every single level. I'm not going to be doing that shit. This isn't a speed run. Took me a minute there to remember how you like rewind in this game. You have to like hold ZL and ZR to do that. So yeah, if you can't tell, I absolutely love platformers, and Mario was probably the cause of that, because this was like... Like, Super Mario Bros. on the NES was like, probably one of the first video games I ever played growing up. Like, as far back as I can remember, I think that was like... Because I had an NES for Christmas when I was like, really young, I think it was like, maybe four or five or something, and we got Super Mario Bros., and... I think we got Duck Hunt as well. Like, we got the... I think the NES console was the one that came with, like, the, the light gun. So yeah, we had, like, Duck Hunt, we had Mario, and... I think that was it for a while, and then eventually we got more games, but... My, my nostalgia is very deeply rooted in just the fact that we got, like, Mario for Christmas. I may have not been as young as four, I might have been a little bit older. I don't remember how young I was when we got that NES. But it was way back. Also, I love the Bowser portraits in the backgrounds. Also, that's the cool detail that's in the All-Stars version. So instead of like just like a static toad image, it's like an animation. But the cool thing about this is the animation of the toad you rescue depends on which world you're in, so everyone is different. And we're going to get to see all of them as we play through this. Trying to hit that block. Okay, well, I, I, th I thought it was something there, never mind. So yeah, that Mario Kart thing they shown, like I mentioned it earlier, that augmented... What was it called? Some home tour or something like that. Was a little bit disappointed by that because I really would have loved to see a new Mario Kart game. Because we haven't had a new Mario Kart game in how long? I don't count Mario Kart Tour like that, that's not really something you count at all. Because Mario Kart 8 didn't come out in 2017 like most people think because that was like an older Wii U game. I think that game came out in like 2015 I think? So, that was like five years ago. Yeah. I know there's something on that block. I just can't get the momentum. There we go. All that for a fire flower I already had, so that was a waste. Is the volume okay, by the way? now for my least favourite part of Super Mario Brothers, the water levels. I mean, they're not that bad, I just prefer not to do water levels because I enjoy the platforming. I think most people are like that, like most people who enjoy platformers prefer not to play the water levels just because it's kind of like the opposite of platforming. Especially if you end up, like, losing your fire flower, like, that's the worst part, because there's no, like, power-ups in these levels. So you have to wait until you finish the level before you get your power-ups back. The bloopers are, like, the fucking worst. Like, sometimes they move in a certain way, 
other times they move unpredictably, so they can kind of fuck you up if you're not careful. There we go. When I was a kid, I used to try and get up there. For some reason, I don't know why. Because if you look very closely, if you get to the, the height of the water, sometimes you briefly see Mario, like, moving to the right as if he's, like, trying to get up onto the ledge. I used to, I used to fucking try that all the time. I was like, can I get Mario up onto that edge? But now that, that's impossible as far as I can tell. But yeah, that was something that always fascinated me. I always asked myself, could I get up there? Never could, never will. Maybe if you corrupted the game or something, you can get up there if you, like, corrupted it. But yeah, moving on. Bah! You know, that's something they should do with, like, the Mario theme if they haven't done it already. You know how, like, New Super Mario Bros, you get that, like, bad vocal thing? Where it's like, bah, bah! But they should just put that at the end of, like, the orchestral hits on this, like, song. Also, I wasn't a fan of this level either, just because of how unpredictable the cheap cheeps are, because sometimes they'll just, like, collide with you when you don't want them to. Or they'll come up underneath and they'll make you bounce when you're trying to jump over a ledge and you'll fall. Thankfully, that went fairly smooth. I'm looking forward to getting to Mario 2 tonight. Oh, shit. That fireball jumped out really quickly there after the first jump. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to Mario 2 because... I, I love this game a lot, but I also love Mario 2 a lot as well. And that game is, like, really enjoyable to me. Kind of sucks that Mario Maker didn't get, like... I mean, yeah, you can get, like, the Mario 2 power-up where you can play as, like, the Mario 2 Mario and you get, like, the mechanics so associated with it. But there was never, like, a dedicated, like, Mario 2, like, game modes. Which was a little disappointing. Maybe when they make Mario Maker 3, they'll do that. Who knows? There we go. So long, gay Bowser! Right, here we go. Animation number two. This time we get two toads. I know it's kind of a meme to hate the toads because they keep saying our princess is in the little castle, but I can't help but like the toads in this game just because of the animations. Also, I love that momentum thing that you can do where you can do that and then go backwards. That curve jump, I'm not sure if, you, if there's like a term for that, a technical term, but I love being able to do that in this game. It's like a fucking expert move right there. Oh, by the way, I've mentioned this yesterday, but I am now affiliated on Twitch, and I've made some changes to my channel. Uh, again, don't feel obligated to, but yeah, that's just like some... I've made some changes. One thing you can do, which doesn't require you paying any money, because I don't want people doing that, uh, is channel points. If you look at the very bottom of the Twitch chat, you'll see a little picture of a salt shaker. That's your channel points. You basically get those points by watching the stream. And the idea is... You can accumulate the points, and then you can use them to get, like, a highlighted message. So the more you watch my stream and get salty Scot Scottish salty points, you can, like, just use them just to get attention. So <laughs> if you want to do that, that's up to you. 
Like, you don't have to use bits, you don't have to, like, subscribe, don't, don't even, like... If you really want to do that, I won't stop you, but that's totally up to you. I'm not gonna, like, tell people to, like, subscribe or send me bits. The Salty Scottish points are a nice, like, free substitute for people who want a bit more interactivity with the chat. But yeah, it's kind of weird to be, like, affiliated on Twitch now, like... I've been, like, qualified to be affiliated for about a month now, but I didn't take the plunge because I was still multi-streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Because you're not allowed to, like, multi-stream if you're, like, affiliated with Twitch. But I changed that because YouTube's, like, uh, new streaming dashboard kind of fucked everything up and made multi-streaming a, a big hassle for me. So I was just like, yeah, fuck this shit, I'm not doing that anymore. Fuck YouTube. By the way, what game are you going to play first when you get 3D All-Stars? I'm probably just going to play them in chronological order. And I think I'm going to like 100% all the games. So I'll do Mario 64, I'll get all 120 stars. That will be like over several streams. And then soon after that, I will, I'll, I'll just play like all the games within a few weeks, I think. So that and then Sunshine, which will take me a bit longer because that game can be quite hard to 100%. Like getting all the blue coins is a big challenge. And then after that, of course, Mario Galaxy, which I, I love Galaxy the most out of the three, but I don't want to like jump into that immediately. I'm saving that one for last on purpose because I really want to enjoy that game. But yeah, kind of glad that it's like coming out two weeks from now. Like that's not that long of a wait. I honestly thought that collection was coming out in like November. Because Pikmin 3 Deluxe is coming out at the end of October, and I was thinking Nintendo is going to have to save this as like a big game for the end of the year. But they didn't, it's coming out in a couple weeks. So I'm beginning to wonder, does Nintendo have another like big game that's coming out at the end of the year we don't know about? Or is it just going to be like an empty year for them? En empty holiday? Like is Pikmin 3 the very last game that's coming out in October? Like October? Because that would be weird. Now we got three toads. So you can kind of see the theme with the animated toads. We had one, then two, then three. So you can probably figure out what the next one's going to be like. My absolute worst. Actually, it's not my least favourite enemy. It's the Hammer Bros that I hate in this game, but the Lucky 2 is like a second for that. Is it Lucky 2 or is it Lucky 2? Because I've heard that it said, said both ways. I say Lucky 2. Also, that level's fairly easy. You just run and Lucky 2 will never like drop the spinies on you. The later levels with Lucky 2 can be a bit annoying because there's like not a proper like running path because there's like a lot of like obstructions in your way. Like 8-3 is like a level that's quite difficult. Or wait, no wait, Lakito's not in that one. I think it's like 5 dash 5 dash 2 that Lakito appears in. I forgot which one it was, but 8 dash 3 sucks as well because that one's got the Hammer Bros. Like that level is almost all Hammer Bros. I I knew I was going to miss that there. See, I pulled back because I was expecting to like run too fast when I land in there, but in pulling back I kind of like messed myself up from recovering. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I love it when you grab a mushroom in midair and it just kills all your momentum. That happens in the NES game as well. They didn't quite fix that. Skill jump. Hey. Ooh, that almost killed me there. Hmm. 
Is anyone else going to be getting that Game & Watch thing? The Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers? Because like I said earlier, I'm going to pick that one up just because I love the novelty of it. Oh hey, I got six fireworks. Waited a bit too long there, of course. Whatever. I'd like to think I'm a fairly proficient expert at Mario, but I still make dumbass mistakes like that from time to time. I mean, you've seen me play through Lost Levels, like the Famicom version of Lost Levels, which was on the Nintendo Switch Online thing for a while. Streamed that like a year ago, I think, about a half a year ago. When did the Lost Levels come out again for the Famicom on the Switch Online? It was like 6 to 12 months back. I forgot exactly when it was. I will play through the SNES version of Lost Levels eventually. That's not happening tonight though. I think next time I stream All Stars I'll do Lost Levels. So one thing I like about this version of the game is that they actually add like audio cues to let you know if you went the right way or the wrong way. Because the obviously the NES version doesn't do that. Thank you, Fireball. Speaking of Mario All-Stars, remember that fucking jankass like Mario All-Stars game that I played several months ago? Like that fucking Wii game. It was like some Brazilian hack of like New Super Mario Bros. for Wii. Where somebody just like tried to make as many Mario games in the engine as possible and it looked absolutely fucking janky. It was fucking hilarious. Like they even fucking made Hotel Mario of all things in there for some reason. It was like, yeah, let's make Hotel Mario and Mario was missing. Apparently there exists like a better, like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii-ized version of like All-Stars. But I don't know if I'll check that out. Not anytime soon anyway. There's like a hack of Mario Super Mario Bros. for Wii. Uh, why do I keep saying four? There's like a, a, a hack of like New Super Mario Bros. Wii that I want to check out at some point. I think it's called Newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. I don't know when I'll do that, but I would like to do that eventually in the future. Some more fireworks. I think the, the Hambros start showing up around now. Yep, there they are. Shit. I can never get past them without getting hit. That was perfectly timed with the fucking music's orchestral hit. It was like ba da da ba da ba dead. There we go. Also, quite a few people joining the stream tonight. Ever since, I mean, it's been happening a lot before I went to, before I got affiliated on Twitch, but I've noticed that a lot more people have been, like, watching me on Twitch lately. Because usually when I do my streams, it's like three or four people watching at most, but now it's like 10 to 12 people 
sometimes. But yeah, welcome everyone. I hope you're all feeling good today. I'm feeling fine myself. Ah, oh, shit. Also, I love the little arm-waving animation of the bullet bills. It's not much, but it's a nice little detail. And you know me, I'm always like a sucker for small details. can't wait for the lost level so I think that's where my Scottish salty points will come in most handy but yeah we'll do that another day that won't be today unfortunately so this is just a basically 1-2 uh, sorry not 1-2 this is 2-4 again but with like additional fireballs fire bars that's what you call these things right fire bars or something like that fire sticks Oh jeez. I just pulled a Spyro 2 there and fucking went right through that platform. Thank god I had somewhere safe to land below that. Yeah, get fucked, Bowser. Right, so here we go, animation number 5. I think number six or number seven is my favourite. I forgot which one it was. But you'll see it when you see it. Right, so here's a key to again. I'm gonna wait here for Lackey to, Lackey to to respawn so I can kill him. Because I think he comes back after like half a minute. Yep, there he is, right on time. Da -da 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 -da. Die! Oh, die! There we go. Alright, there we go, that was relatively good. Got through that without too much trouble. When I do eventually play Lost Levels, I'll be thankful that that one fucking level with the green spring doesn't despawn like it does in the Famicom version, because I got really fucking salty that that kept happening. If you've never watched me play uh, the Famicom version, uh, I forgot which level it was. It was like one of the extra levels. I think it was like World C or World D, where you like basically cross like massive canvas, like canvases. You cross massive chasms by basically jumping on green springs, which makes you like propel into the air for like ten seconds. But for some reason, this one part that requires a green spring to progress, sometimes the green spring does not show up, and if that happens, you have to kill yourself because you can't actually like finish the level. But yeah, I don't think that happens in the SNES game just because the SNES can, like, make more sprites, like, show up and not have to, like, you know, despawn shit. But it really fucking sucked in the Famicom version when that kept happening to me because I was losing lives needlessly over that. So yeah, we're going through this fairly quickly. Again, I'm... Um, Pretty much, I, I don't want to toot my own horn and say that I'm an expert at this game, but I know I know my way around this game. I played it many a time. Don't get me wrong, I'll still make dumbass mistakes, but I played it more than enough to know how to like play it properly. But yeah, just wait until I, if you think I'm good at this, just wait till I get to lost levels and you'll see how bad I really am at Mario. Oh, that was close. Just grazed that there with my cap. Ha! There we go.
so it's either 6-3 or 6-4 or 7-4 that has another one of those like mystery paths that you take. Oh no, wait, this is 1-4 again. Right, okay. Yeah, so this game repeats a couple levels for some reason. I guess due to cartridge limitations on the NES. The SNES version doesn't update these levels at all. They just like copy them verbatim. But yeah, 6-7 has like... You have to like go through a set of like paths to like get to Bowser, like the one that I did the last time. Also, when I was younger, I didn't know there was like six invisible blocks in this part. I only found out about that when I played the Game Boy Color, like Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Because in that game, there's like a bonus game called Extra Modes, where you play through the levels to get the highest possible score. And getting the highest possible score requires finding the hidden Yoshi. And the hidden Yoshi was on one of those invisible blocks, so... I had no idea those invisible blocks were there until the Game Boy Color version of this game came out. Oh yeah, this is my favourite one. <laughs> Just like, the Toad's coming out with a giant fucking hat. I think 7-4 also has a good animation as well. Trying to build, build momentum here. Easier said than done. I would try to like jump down and jump back up again, but the bullets are gonna like hit me if I do that. Did I done goofed? Yeah. Will you get that fire flower, please? Gotta try something actually. Oh. <laughs> Aye! I was trying to move the screen over so I could do that. Completely wasted fucking like 40 seconds there doing that. I don't remember if there's like a fire flower down there. Nope, that was not worth it. Yeah, get fucked. I don't remember if, if there is any power-ups hiding up here, I'm gonna have to check. Nope. This is just the 1-4 bonus room again. Again, some recycled content the further you get in the game. It's mostly original content, but every once in a while they'll just like throw something that you've seen before. Yep. I'm not going to attempt to go for that like one-up trick because I don't know how to do that. I've seen people do the 1-up trick, but I've never been able to, like, do it myself. Probably not worth trying. Time for some evasive maneuvers. Squids, please. Oop. There we go. 
I'm surprised I didn't get hit by any of any of those. I'm usually pretty bad at water levels. So yeah, that Mario 35th Anniversary Direct was all around pretty good. A lot of good stuff in there. I like how during it, they were like, oh, by the way, we've got we've got Mario Monopoly. And I'm like, yeah, who the fuck doesn't have Monopoly these days? Like, Monopoly, having your own version of Monopoly used to be like a badge of honor. But these days, it's like the like the Hasbro company just like fucking whoring out the Monopoly license to just about anyone. So that's not really saying much if you've got a Monopoly game. Hell, fucking Glasgow, the city I live in, has a Monopoly game, if you can believe that. Like, Sonic has a Monopoly, everybody has a Monopoly. Apple has a Monopoly, oh wait, that's a different thing entirely, never mind. Okay, that was wrong. This way, I guess. Obviously, the one you to go the, the more difficult route. Or not. Okay then, I thought that was the way I was supposed to go. I think this one might be top, middle, then bottom. Okay, well, top, middle, top. Imagine trying to do this without that audio cue that you get in the SNES version. Like, playing the NES version, you'd be very fucking confused. And you only have, like, so much time to figure it out. No platforms to help me, so I'm just gonna try taking them out. Right, so here's the final toad animation. Just seven tiny toads. Right, here we go, 8-1. So, this is where I start to remember the game again, because I used to, like, just skip to World 8 by going to 1-2 and then going to 4-2. So my muscle memory is quite strong for the last four levels because that's where I, that's where I've played the most when I was younger. I think there's a one up there somewhere. I just can't t seem to find it. Okay, that's weird. Isn't there a one up sitting here? I, I can't hit it. Right, never mind then. What was that I was saying about muscle memory? Disregard that. That was a bad clip. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the invisible block is in there, but I can't seem to hit it. Maybe the All Stars version took that out, I don't know. I thought that's where the Starman was. I think the Starman is over here then. There it is. Also, I love this part. Skill jump. Not going to do anything fancy, just going to play it safe. There we go.
got some sweet fireworks again. So I think 8-2 is my least favourite level. This one has a lot of tricky jumps. 8-3 is also a nightmare, but if you know what you're doing, you can get past that one relatively easily. 8-2 I have more trouble with than 8-3. Gonna get, see if I can get that 1-up mushroom for safety, because I don't have that many lives in this game. You know how Mario games are known for having, like, a shit ton of lives? Like, you play a modern Mario game and it's like, you do like a couple levels and you've already got like 50 billion lives? Yeah, this game is like the opposite of that. This game gives you a very finite amount of lives to work with. Almost got hit by that, but we're good. So if you do 8-3 the right way, you can easily get the Fire Flower, which you'd have to like hold on to for the rest of the game if you want to like kill Bowser with it. So don't expect that to happen, but there's no side chance I can get that to happen. Hammer Bros, please. Aye! Yeah, Hammer Bros can be a pain. They wouldn't be so hard to deal with, except there's like two of them to worry about. Right, that's one. And that's two. Right, okay, so now that I've killed them, I believe there's a mushroom here somewhere. There it is. And then the next time you get to the Hammer Bros, there's like a, a another mushroom spot which will become a fire flower if I retain the mushroom. So I'm gonna wait for them to like get to higher ground before I try attacking them. Nope, don't go down there, please. I don't know if I can influence the direction by jumping or whatever. You fuck! Right, well, whatever, I'll, I'll just keep the, what I've got then. See what I mean about the Hammer Bros being like the worst enemies in this fucking game? Da oh, Jesus. Da 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 Die! Well, don't die. Right, well, I guess we'll just do the final level without any power-ups then. That's good. Also, I like the detail that the background of the final level is, like, big windows with, like, thunder, like, coming from them. So the final level is you've got to find the right pipes to get to Bowser. Here is the cheap, cheap room. And then the water room. The penultimate room in the game. And then Bowser. Well, Hammer Bro and then Bowser. That Hammer Bro can be an issue as well, especially if you don't have a Fire Flower. Just gonna play it safe and just walk under all of that. Right here comes the fucking annoying hammer, bro. Duh. Nice. There we go. Our in Jesus was kind to me that time. I like that they give you the mushroom there just for the cutscene. Oh god, I can remember 
it, I forgot which corruption it was, but like at some point Vinny checked out a corruption stockpile of this game, and there was a corruption where Peach kisses Mario. Uh, let, let's just say she kisses him somewhere else other than his face. <laughs> it's a fucking weird moment on on Vine Sauce. Right, well there you go, that's... You can also do a new game plus, but it's kind of pointless. They just like replace the the Goombas with Buzzy Beetles, that's all they do. And the Koopa Troopas move faster. But yeah, we're gonna just uh, not do that and we'll move on to Mario 2 instead.